Israel's defense minister, Avidor Lieberman, has a reputation of being hawkish. He wanted Israel to continue bombing Gaza with greater intensity, especially after some 400 rockets and mortars were fired into Israel earlier this week. For two nights, Gaza was targeted by Israeli airstrikes. Israel's government said it was in response to rockets from Gaza hitting its towns of Ashkelon and Sterot. By Tuesday, an Egyptian broker deal put an end to this spike in violence. Israel's cabinet says it has asked its military to respond if Palestinian groups fire more rockets over the border. But for Israel's defense minister, it wasn't enough. I am here to announce my resignation as defense minister of the state of Israel. The question asked is why now? For me, what happened yesterday, the ceasefire yesterday combined with the long-term deal with Hamas is to surrender to terror. There is no other definition, no other meaning, but surrender to terror. The resignation was seen as another victory for the Palestinian resistance. Lieberman's party's departure means Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu holds only a slender Knesset majority seats to maintain the coalition in Tel Aviv now might have to announce a date for early elections. Lieberman's resignation comes into effect in 48 hours. After that, the Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu will have to fill his position. Netanyahu is already serving as foreign minister and health minister besides his post, which is putting him under serious criticism. With the resignation of uh, Lieberman and with, uh, with the withdrawal of his party from the coalition, uh, the coalition uh, uh, government led by, by Netanyahu will remain with uh, 61 seats, with a very narrow majority in the Israeli parliament. Uh, this government cannot function properly for the long run. So uh, uh, it's uh, very probable that early election will take place in Israel. The ceasefire has spurred internal dispute and more divisions, with dozens of Israeli settlers demonstrated against the truce agreement and called on Netanyahu to step down. Gaza-based resistance groups announced a truce with Israel in a joint statement on Tuesday evening saying they would abide by the ceasefire as long as Israel did the same. The latest spate of Israeli military aggression against Gaza Strip saw 14 killed and several others injured in 48 hours. Over the past years, Lieberman has been criticized by Israeli media outlets as lacking knowledge and influence. However, now Lieberman is not the only one under fiery criticism, but also Netanyahu, who reportedly did not want to go to early elections at this point. Despite the 12-year blockade and despite the fear of airstrikes hammering home Israel's military superiority, many Palestinians in Gaza view this week's ceasefire and Lieberman's resignation as a victory for them. I think now we have a good card that we can exert the pressure, we can change the political map inside Israel. But you know, this is you know, either Lieberman or Netanyahu, left or right, we tested all the political colors in Israel. I think they, most of them, they take the same policy. Now, the political discussion in Israel may once again focus more on domestic politics and concerns about security. I'm not sure there are other possibilities. But it's more likely than ever since the formation of this government that we'll have early elections. And that, uh, Lieberman believes that in such uh, elections, under the given circumstances, um, it could help him. But as the fear of further violence fades and the ceasefire holds, Gazans hope Israelis will focus more on politics on their side of the